What's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Urban Platform Speaks. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe as you come into the channel and check out the content. And with that being said, I want to react to uh, some comments that Rob Parker made about Russell Wilson and uh, Justin Fields, right? Um, he, he thinks that that Justin Fields should start over Russell Wilson and uh no, no, I'm sorry. He he thinks that uh Justin Fields shouldn't start and that it should be it should be Russell Wilson, right? And in my opinion, I think it should be Justin Fields. Uh I, I like what I've seen out of Justin Fields so far in the uh you know with the preseason. I, I think that Justin Fields has the most upside, in my opinion. And uh with that being said, I'm I'm gonna go and 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 check out the audio. Let you all listen to the audio of Rob Parker, what he has to say about this Justin Fields, Russell Wilson. They uh, are going to get the work in. Justin Fields had a pretty pretty good start there for uh, the Steelers, except for he had a couple fumbles, which didn't go over well with uh, his coach. Can't turn the ball over. You know that. He's a big turnover machine. But anyway, Justin Fields. Russell Wilson, they're both there. People thought it's going to be all about Russell Wilson, and then all of a sudden they make a trade. They get Justin Fields for nothing, absolutely nothing, but he's on the team. He's a young guy, got a lot of upstart, and Martin Weiss thinks he should be the starting quarterback. You're all in on Justin Fields. Yeah, I mean, well, to say I'm all in makes it seem like I'm betting that it'll work, but if you have the options of, I mean, let's be honest, neither one of these are great options, right? It's like having asparagus or broccoli. You know, both neither your, your, your third grader is not going to like either one. But if I had to make the choice between these two guys, like the Steelers have to do, to me, the answer is clearly far and away Justin Fields, if for no other reason. He's younger, he's more athletic, and if he hits, you have a franchise quarterback. Russell Wilson can go out there and play the season of his life, his best season that he's ever played, and you know you got at most two more seasons out of him, three more seasons out of him. Justin Fields go out there and you figure out a way to tap into some of the potential that everybody saw leading up into this draft or leading up. All right. So let, let me stop it right here. I agree. OK, because Russell, uh, Justin Fields, I think that Chicago gave up on Justin Fields too soon. I think that, uh, you know, I, I, I just think that they didn't really um, they didn't give him an opportunity, a, a long enough opportunity to 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 see what he can do you know and and in my opinion also i think when he was at chicago in my i don't think he really looked all that bad considering that they they really didn't have a a strong supporting cast around him but i think that they saw an opportunity to go out and get themselves another first round quarterback which in my opinion is is just um starting over so i think if justin fields is able to to uh you know to to tap into that potential that he has i think his upside is is he has more of an upside than russell wilson do and because russell wilson has just so much he has you know like so much behind him like his his better days are behind him and if i'm the pittsburgh steelers i would definitely i would definitely go with uh justin fields over Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is a lot slower than he used to be. Um he's not as athletic. So you know I I, I see why you know this guy uh Martin Weiss would go with uh you know Justin Fields. But to his draft class where he was picked then you actually have a shot to have a guy for the next five six years that can lead your team. And when you look at a guy like Justin Fields no one is saying look especially with what the Steelers are trying to do. You go with Arthur Smith. He's going to want to run the ball. It's going to be a lot of play acts. There's going to be a lot of bootlegs. It's going to be a lot of things where it really helps to have an athletic quarterback. And Russell Wilson just strained his cap, pushing a tackling sled. Should he have been pushing a tackling sled? Of course not. He's a quarterback. When's the last time you saw Russell Wilson on a lead block? I'll answer for you. It's never. But the reality of the situation is we look at Russell Wilson and me graduated from high school the same year. I ain't got no business being an NFL quarterback. And honestly, if you look at the last uh, two seasons he had in Denver, he don't look like he had any business being an NFL. And see, that's, that's a good point, right? Russell Wilson, like his last couple years, like 
now his last year in Denver, he didn't look real bad his last year in Denver. I think it was a more of a situation where the coach Sean Payton really is not a fan of Russell Wilson. But um, definitely Russell Wilson's best years are behind him. And so he's he's on the incline. You know, he, he got hurt at practice, you know, um, on the sled, like like Justin, you know, like uh, Martin White said. And I, I just think that he, they, the Steelers have to go with a younger, more athletic quarterback in, uh, in fields. And, and, you know, if if Coach Mike Tomlin can get this guy to play up to his potential, that'll be – it'll benefit the Steelers for at least the next four or five years. And, um, you know, you, you, either way, you don't want – neither one of these quarterbacks throwing a whole bunch anyway. And I think – I think Russell Wilson think that, you know, he's going to be tossing the ball all over the yard. That's going to be another um, downside to it because if he – if he think that he's going to be throwing the ball, that's not going to be good for Pittsburgh. Because Pittsburgh is mainly, you know, they, they like to run the ball. And then in certain situations, you'll need an athletic quarterback that can get them out of trouble when, um, you know, when things break down. And so that's, in my opinion, that's going to be Justin Fields. But I'm going to listen to a little bit more of their commentary on, on this debate. He played, he played pretty well yeah, last he played, year. Stop he he played so well that Sean Payton, the guy who knows Sean a thing. Sean Payton hated him before he got he there, Martin. He, he Payton, hated him before he Sean got Payton there. Does Sean Payton know a thing or two about no, quarterbacks or no. no? He's won one Super Bowl does with a know, Hall of Fame quarterback. Does, does he, and he know a thing or two seasons. about quarterbacks he had four, or no? No. He had four, he had so four, Sean Payton knows nothing about quarterbacks. He had four losing seasons with a Hall of Fame quarterback. Sean Payton knows nothing about So you're telling me you're telling me Sean Payton is not a good quarterback evaluator. All I'm telling you is that you're giving him way too much credit. Now, I agree with Rob Parker there, right? I think that, you know, they are giving Sean Payton a little bit too much credit. Um, he won one Super Bowl with, uh, what was the quarterback? Now, I forgot the quarterback name, but he did win one Super Bowl with the quarterback. And, um, you know, I mean, like, if take, for instance, like, who's uh, Joe Flacco for the Baltimore Ravens. He won one Super Bowl and the coach, the Harbaugh. But they don't prop John Harbaugh up the way they prop, uh, you know, they prop Sean Payton up. I mean, they prop Sean Payton up like like he won uh, multiple Super Bowls and they prop him up like he's a uh, like he's a genius or something. You know, he won a Super Bowl. I mean, that's that's good. You can't take that away from him. But I, I think they just give him way too much credit. Um, and like I said, in my opinion, I think the best the best option for the Pittsburgh Steelers is a younger, more athletic quarterback, and that is Justin Fields. You know, he's younger, more athletic, and his his upside is higher than uh, Russell Wilson. Uh, Russell Wilson, he don't have the athleticism to get out of trouble like he used to. And then on top of that, he, uh, you, you know, you don't want him throwing a lot. And so it, it's, it's got to be Justin, you know, it's got to be Justin. Uh, that's my take on it. Make sure to uh, like and subscribe and let me know what you think. Who do you think should start? Should it be Russell Wilson or should it be Justin Fields? And with